El Bungio. In an interview with Jeff Augustine, John Atack talked about the theft of the OT materials pack from Copenhagen. How many copies of each OT materials packs would a class 5 slash ideal org have? What are your recollections of the time when the materials were stolen? Did you hear about it or was it hushed up? Did you notice security tightened? Okay, so those materials were stolen from Copenhagen, uh, Copenhagen in the 1980s. Uh, when I was still uh, going to high school and uh, hadn't even joined staff yet. I think I was barely into Scientology. And it was not broadcast throughout Scientology that, you know, oh my God, oh, somebody came in and pretended to be a Sea Org member. Two guys went into uh, the advanced organization in, in uh, Denmark and they dressed in their Sea Org uniforms that they had kept. They were ex Sea Org members. And they went in there and made like they were there on a mission to collect the OT materials and take them. And they, and they got given them. They, they gave them over, they put them all in a briefcase, and they walked out. And it was that easy. And it was like, whoa. Um, now, obviously, it wasn't you know, an, an easy thing to do because you had to know all the Sea Org jargon and Scientology lingo. And, you had to, and they had to conduct themselves like an actual Sea Org mission. So that would require some, some training, some background. But anyway, that was, that was how that was pulled off. Um, I, what I, the only thing I ever heard about in regards to non, you know, the, the breaking confidentiality of the OT materials when I was in the church was we heard about how some of the OT materials had been entered into the court record. And I think this was also over in, in, uh, England or, or I'm sorry, in Europe, probably in Copenhagen. And, um, and they had to set up a schedule of uh, OTs to go to the, library, the law library or public library where the records of this court case were accessible and they had to check them out and keep them on a rotation so no one else could get in there and check out those OT materials. And they just sat in the library with them all day and they'd do like a day, you know, rotation shift or something. And I think they had five or six or seven OTs, you know, willing to do this who had the time to do it. So that was the only thing I ever heard of. Um, and we was told, of course, you know, as God, this is so stupid and ridiculous and these stupid wogs, why aren't they, you know, why, why don't they just leave us alone and grant us our religious freedom and, you know, confidentiality. So, um, to, now the other parts of your question, though, I wanted to make sure uh, I got to because OT materials are not kept at class five orgs or in ideal orgs. The OT materials are only kept at advanced organizations. And that, that is a, that's a high level organization. It's a C org org, sorry, C organization only organization, right? Only C org members work there. And um, they're entrusted with uh, securing those OT materials and making sure they don't get out, which of course they failed miserably at because it's all over the internet now. But that was their trust and they, they, they blew it. So, I believe there have been some revisions and changes to the OT material since the ones that are out on the internet. And, you know, you hear this and you hear that and you read this and read that and you can put it all together. But, um, but that's it not, it's not huge, significant changes. I mean, I'm not talking about that they changed Xenu or something like that. But for example, there have been three different versions reportedly of OT8. So, you know, it's a little hard to say for sure exactly precisely what people are reading in the church right now. But we do know that Xenu ain't going anywhere. So uh, anyway, so they're not at city level churches. Uh, you can't walk into those places and walk out with the OT materials. They're, they're not there. The highest confidential material they have is the material about clear, the, the state of clear, because there's a confidential, little tiny snippet of confidential information connected with the state of clear that that's given out to all the orgs. And that piece of information, by the way, is, the, is called the clear cognition or the, the thing you're supposed to realize when you achieve the state of clear. And that realization is, uh, oh, I just realized I've been the one mocking up or creating my reactive mind. It hasn't, you know, you have this reactive mind and you're the one who's been making it be there the whole time. And when you have that realization, snap, you're not supposed to have it anymore. And I uh, just saved you a few thousand dollars. So... <laughs> <laughs> All the more reason to sign up on Patreon. <laughs> All right, I hope that uh, hope that answers your question.